Good day everyone! Welcome to Mathematics Class Online for Grade 7, Sampagita, and Ilang Ilang. This is Sir Ricky, your Algebra teacher. We still have a couple of topics to be discussed, but we will do it one at a time. In this video, we will be solving linear equation. But first, we will have to define what is a linear equation. So, linear equation is any equation that can be written in the form of ax plus b is equal to 0, where a and b are real numbers and x is a variable. So, we will start with the basic one. 2x plus 5 is equal to 17. Meaning to say, we are going to find the value of x such that when we multiply to 2 and add it to 5, the sum is named 17. Okay, take note that we will gather the x term in one side and the constant in the other side. So in this case, we are going to eliminate 5, positive 5 by subtracting 5. Okay, we will subtract 5 to both sides. Okay, so this minus 5 and minus 5. Okay, so 2x, so bring down 2x, 5 minus 5 is 0, is equal to 17 minus 5, it's 12. Alright, take note that multiplication and do division, addition and do subtraction. So, 2x means to say we are multiplying 2 to x, so to eliminate 2, we will divide both sides by 2, divide 12 by 2, okay, cancel 2. So, x now is equal to 12 divided by 2, 6. Um, our final answer is 6. x is equal to 6. We will check if your answer is correct by simply substituting 6 to the original equation as value of x. So, uh, 2 times 6 plus 5. 2 times 6, that's 12, plus 5 is 17. So, meaning the value of x is 6. The value of x, which is 6, is true. Let's go to another example. Alright. Um, 5 multiplied to the difference between x and 4 is equal to 3 multiplied to the sum of a number and 1. Okay, to solve this, we are going to distribute 5 to x. We will apply the distributive property, 5 to negative 4, and of course, 3 to x, and 3 to positive 1. Alright. 5 times x, 5x, 5 times negative 4, negative 20, is equal to 3 times x, 3x, three, 3 times 1, positive 3. Okay. Um, take note, we will gather the x term in one side and the constant in the other side. Now, in this case, we will gather the x term in the left side and constant to the right side by eliminating 3x. So, we will subtract 3x to both sides. 3x, alright. So, 5x minus 3x, that's 2x. I'll bring down 20, negative 20 is equal to 3x minus 3x, that's 0, so bring down 3, alright. We will eliminate negative 20 by adding both sides by 20, so plus 20, plus 20, so bring down 2x, negative 20 plus 20, that's 0, equals 23, alright. To solve for x, divide both sides by 2, divide this by Two. So, cancel 2. X now is equal to 23 over 2. Uh, this is non-reducible because 23 and 2 has no common factor. So, I should prefer, I would prefer a fraction. I would prefer a, an answer which is a fraction than a decimal. So, the final answer would be X is equal to 23 over 2. Okay. Another example, 3 multiplied to the difference between a number and 4 plus 5 is equal to 2 multiplied to the difference between 
3 and 3 times a number. All right. We will, we will apply the distributive property. Okay. So we will distribute, distribute, this one, distribute, okay, distribute. So 3 times x, that's 3x, three, 3 times negative 4, negative 12, okay, plus 5 is equal to 2 times 3 that's 6 2 times negative 3x that's negative 6x okay so that's 3x we will combine like terms so 3x negative 12 plus 5 that's negative 7 is equal to 6 minus 6x okay now in this case we will gather x term in the in the left side so we will add positive 6x positive 6x this now equal to 3x plus 6x that's 9x minus 7 is equal to 6 uh, negative 6x plus 6x that's 0 okay so we have a new equation 9x minus 7 is equal to 6 this time we'll eliminate negative 7 by adding both sides by 7 positive 7 so we have now 9x uh, this 0 is equal to 6 plus 7, that's 13. Okay, so what we'll do now is to divide both sides by 9, divide this by 9. So, the value of x, so cancel, x now is equal to 13 over 9. This is your final answer. Can you try this one? Okay.